In this video, we're going to look at how you can extract the domain name out of the email so you can do some reporting on that. So imagine if you had a task where you wanted to extract out the example.com. You have a couple ways to do it, and one of the ways that you might start doing it is simply jumping over and going to the contact table here and adding a new column. Now with this, you've got to come up with a DAX expression that you're going to use to go and extract that. And you'd have to go and look for the at sign and pull that together. Oftentimes, though, we forget that we could actually take care of that during the transformation in the Power Query that we pull things together. And we actually don't even have to come up with the formula. So let's take a look at how to do that. So if I come back to Home, go to Transform Data. So what I've got is my three columns. And what I can do, because I want to keep my email address, I can duplicate the column to create a copy of that. We're going to go ahead and select split column by delimiter. You have all kinds of built-in ones that you can do. So if you had colons, commas, equal signs, so forth. But we're going to go ahead and do an at sign. Make sure that we only put the at sign in there. Otherwise, it's not going to work too well. We'll pick each occurrence of the delimiter and we'll go ahead and say OK. Now what it's done is it's created two, well, it really created an additional column that had the remaining pieces in it. And because I don't care about this part, I can go ahead and remove the, you know, Dave at example.com, leaving only the example.com. And then the final thing I can do is go ahead and come down here and rename this email domain, giving it a friendly name. And then go ahead and close and apply. We'll let this go ahead and refresh. And now I've got my email domain on here. And I can use this in my reports and on my dashboards just like any other column that was there. So like if I were to come in here and just drop a table, I got my email domain. And obviously it's more interesting if I had a whole bunch of different domains on there. But this is really a good way if you want to analyze some data, you want to kind of get an idea of how many of those from each domain that you had. You could just bring this over, change this to count, keep it real simple. And you could add another one that shows the detail, allowing you to select this and do some analysis. You might want to look at who do you have in your contacts that have the most from certain domains and do some analysis on it. Quick way to get that data available from your email addresses that you already have.